So, 100 subscribers happened on my channel. I wasn't exactly prepared for it or expecting it. My channel has been through a lot in the over four years it has existed, and especially I've been through a lot, and it's been through many stages over the three and a half years I've been posting videos. So I thought, as a 100 subscriber special, I'd go over how my channel has come along and the stages it's went through. So I posted my first video on September 1st, 2015. It was called Opening Slash Closing Sequence. I had just downloaded an app called Doodlecast for Windows, and this was the first animation I had made with it. I had a little bit of experience with Flash from school, but this was the first time animating something freehand, as in not using tweens or just moving shapes across the screen, but actually drawing individual frames. I was very excited to do more little animations and set a weekly schedule. I was greatly inspired by The Brony Notion, the first channel I ever subscribed to and followed. That's sort of the ch direction my channel was going when I started out. On October 13th, 2015, I posted a video by the name of The Morals of Tanks for the Memories, which is my first attempt to make MLP analysis video. I didn't know much what I was doing, and I just followed the format of The Brony Notion and other analysts I had found. The character poses I meticulously drew in MS Paint, and they're not too bad considering I had just gotten into art. My Little Pony is what got me into art. But sadly, this video wasn't very inspired. I was just copying other analysts in the hope that I could become part of the community. I used Movie Maker to make it. I didn't know much how to use Movie Maker very well back then, and my voice is so tiny. On November 10th, 2015, I posted the video of me getting my hair cut, and I made like a Wheel of Mythicality intro for it. and. That day, November 3rd, it shifted my life and how I presented myself. Short hair made me feel a lot more confident and secure about myself. So looking back on that video, it's one of the few that I'm actually like, that's an important video to me. If I was to prune out all the bad videos, I would leave that one. So I continued to post some weekly videos, but it quickly became hard to keep up with. I wasn't very inspired. I started the channel hoping I could get enough subscribers to be recognized in the brony community. And because that wasn't happening, I didn't have a reason to make videos. So from November 3rd, 2015 to January 27th, 2017, 90% of those videos were very rushed and poorly put together. I often just posted projects I made in digital filmmaking class I was taking in high school because I had no ideas slash was too lazy to make a video that week. With no inspiration, I didn't have much reason to. I started missing weeks and eventually stopped posting altogether from November 3rd, 2016 to January 27th, 2017. So on January 27th, 2017, I uploaded a channel update, sorry in brackets, and I felt the need to apologize to my 12 subscribers <laughs> that I just stopped posting without saying anything. But at least in that video, if it was misguided, I finally dropped my weekly schedule. From then on, I made videos because I wanted to make them. Finally, I was inspired to create my own content, even though uploads were few and far between. So that brings me to October 2nd, 2017. After the release of the Bernie Notions album called Elements, I grew very inspired to create some art for it and record speed paints to release them over a week. It was a very fun project that held a lot of meaning for me. And with the release of that final image, which had almost 10 hours of work put into it, I decided to submit my art to Equestria Daily, which is a pony news site. I'd submitted a lot of art in the past, never to be featured, but for the first time, this art was featured. So I finally got a taste of that brony fame that I wanted so much at the start of my channel, even though most of the views went to my DeviantArt page instead of on my YouTube channel. I was happy to receive recognition, but I didn't feel the desire to use this as a boost to create more pony content, to continue to grow in the fandom. The Elements of Harmony project sort of felt like my one final hurrah in the fandom. So I continued to post original content that I was making because I wanted to, as I let go of my dream of having many subscribers, and I was happy with my 13. My channel was pretty stagnant in terms of views and subscribers, but my favorite videos were made during this period, mainly my song of solidarity. Then, everything changed on April 22nd, 2018, when I posted the video titled Cuberthm's 50k giveaway. The next big thing I moved to after the brony fandom was cubing. It had a wonderful community, it was a great hobby, it helped me improve my social skills and life skills. I found some cubing channels, mainly Cuberthm's, one of the first ones I found, run by two guys who went by the names Red and Blue. But two days after I subbed, Red left the channel, which I was like, aw, Red was cool. So Cube Rhythms on his own, Blue, he hit 50k, did a giveaway, and I won it with this animation I made. <laughs> I'm very proud of this video, I had so much fun making it. And it brought me from 13 subscribers to 73. And it was so awesome to interact with all the commenters. It was a boost I was not expecting, and i kind of given up on the channel in the hopes of it growing. But that happened. <laughs> And to make this video, I drew the frames in GIMP and put them together in Windows Movie Maker, which 
at this point, I had gotten pretty good at using Movie Maker while hiding the fact that I was using Movie Maker. So it was a very tedious process. People were like, make more animations. And I was like, sure, that would be fun. Never really did though. I, I never did. I might in the future. It's just not something that I feel very inspired to do right now. Only for the reason of wanting to jump on the bandwagon of YouTube animators. And I didn't want to make the same mistake I did with the Brony Analyst community. Then I did a Minecraft video. I came out of nowhere. So I posted this video on December 11th, 2018, titled Goodbye 2B2T MCPE. I'm not a huge Minecraft player, but I stumbled across a server that I actually rather liked. I made some friends, and but then dug my roots a bit in too deep and had to leave because it wasn't healthy for me to play anymore. But I posted a video featuring the server which brought a few more subs over, and then some of the friends that I made subscribed, and then I hit 100 subscribers on January 17th, 2019 at 12.37am. And the 100th was one of my friends who goes by the name Kitten. Thanks, Kitten. So yeah, I got a custom channel URL now. <laughs> I don't know what the future of my channel will be. Just know that it's probably never gonna have a theme or a weekly schedule ever again. I'm never gonna go back and delete the old videos that I don't like because they got me to where I am today. This is just me, Libby Couts, creating content and sharing it with you. Thank you.